Well, hello, Deb. And welcome to another episode of Cocktail Maker. Today we're going to be talking about my latest and greatest project, Prime Time Game. And I'm just going to demo it real quick. Uh, well, I've already lost a life right here. And so I'm just going to go on to the next. And all it is is asking you to find the two factors of the number at the top. So 55 is 5 times 11. And then 289 is 17 times 17. And as you can see, I've added some sound and everything like that. Now let's go ahead and get something wrong. If, and you notice the score goes up. 500 every time. Once you do reach 5,000, you'll be going on to the hard round and um, scores by 1,000. All right, so 221. Let's pretend like I have no idea what that is. I'm going to say 11 and 19. Ooh, got that wrong. I lost another life. Ooh, I have no lives left. So what am I going to do? Oh, two times. Oh, man. Game over. Click quit. So when I press the quit button, it will close out. All right. I thank you so much for watching this demonstration of prime time. I'll be back for some code review. All right, welcome back, devs. I am here in my coding environment called VS Code, that's Visual Studio Code. And I do enjoy this very much. I'm able to open up a folder and start plugging away at my project. And this is primetime.py. Primetime.py starts with a whole bunch of imports. Um, basically, I'm using the Tekinter app, which is the graphical user interface that you saw in the previous demo. And basically, I've used some buttons, string variables, int variables, an entry, a label. I'm also using the random. I started to use the time, but there was too much of a lag, so I kind of took that out. I might go ahead and take that. Um, import time out after everything is kind of solidified. Um, from Tekinter, I also did the file dialog and the pillow um, for images and the play sounds. So I have some sounds in there. And then you will see some other things like my root. So the root basically tells me that um, I have a screen that's going to come up and it's going to be TK based and it used a TK method. Then this root also has a title, which is where you see on the GUI primetime game. Also to the left of that is icon. That icon um, is something that I put on there, the logo for Pop Code Maker. And then we have a configuration of the background, which is light gray. Okay, and then I go on to set up an operator, which is kind of what will take in some information and be assigned to a string. So we're going to be using that a lot. A text input, which is a, a string variable. And what that means is that it's just a variable within the tekinter that is going to be changing throughout the course of the main loop. Okay, so I have a few of those. And if I want to, I can initialize the value of a string var, as you can see that I did with status text. So when this first pops up, it's going to say select a difficulty level. And then I go on to look at the life, set up 
the boolean for the life um and then the initial composite values that will be randomly selected okay um and then the score starts out at zero everybody starts at a zero score and then it goes on from there all right and let me go ahead and clear this and moving right along the score text is going to be to the right so it's going to have the score um, stated right there in the right hand corner for you to see and then i go on to set up the calculator well it's not a calculator really it's um the prime time evaluator and it allows you to see if you know your prime time facts which is um the the fact that some composite numbers only have exactly two factors. And so, um, and those two factors are prime numbers. And that's why it's called prime time. So we just want the two factors that make up the, the huge number at the top. And, and we go from there. All right, so then I have the placeholders for, or the entry, ways for our um our values to go the e is going to be the that very first number um the f1 and the f2 those are our factors and then the sign label is just a little x in between there to let you know it is multiplication then i have several functions in in here um the number click when it's someone clicks on it then it's going to check the entry to see if, in fact, it was correct. If so, it's going to say excellent. If not, yeah, it's going to be like wrong. <laughs> and then um, we have an exception handled right here if there's a syntax error. So we don't get kicked out of our program if something goes wrong. We want to be able to continue our game if possible. All right. And then set level is basically, okay, is it going to be easy? Is it going to be hard? It's going to take from a small list or a large list of prime values. And then, you know, the bigger the, the prime number, the, the larger the composite number. So that makes it a lot harder to predict or to figure out what two prime numbers will make up that big number so good luck with that hard one because it is a doozy <laughs> i will say and then we go on to talk about the um the play whenever you click on the play this method will be generating your random value and everything and then your game over kind of helps you know like what happens all these things get destroyed and uh, you no longer have a board and you just have to start over okay all right so next we'll talk about um the score increasing if it's over five thousand you go to the next level and you get incremented by a thousand. And then um, update status, you get the clear action. And then, then all these buttons are defined. And after the buttons are defined, you'll have a chance to um, set the, the message. So the status message lets you say okay this is what's going on along the way while you're doing things so the status message gets changed as you progress along in the game and then that's the main loop okay thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time